idea uh, might be a reflection of social transformation, first of all, and it's instrumental for the transformations, and through the transformations itself it changes and uh, transforms. And the example of Russia is quite indicative, uh, because I remember just, uh, uh, well, we are not very old, me and Demian, but still we've uh, witnessed two transformations. We remember how media uh, was transforming socially from uh, transition from uh, post-Soviet to modern Russian, and how it was uh, happening through the change of media, new brands uh, emerging, new senses, new formats, including uh, TV formats and the great TV revolution that Listev uh, did uh, changing the format of uh, TV broadcasting. In some sense, it reflected the changes of the structure of society and the values of society, and through this, the changes did happen. And now, when we are um, standing on the wave uh, of uh, global transformation of technological uh, formation of the society, which is exactly an innovation and not just blah, blah, blah about a new product. It's a technological transformation. The world's getting over the new platform, new social structure, everything new. And now we can see, we can notice that uh, Russian media it has not yet uh, come up to uh, that wave. That's what I'm going to focus. And uh, Titranche and Technology Review are a brilliant example showing that it's not the problem of the media, but the an issue of specific country, generally speaking, which uh, had not, which had missed what the transformation means, and this is what I'm going to focus on. Uh, what the um, Institute of Development, uh, well, what should they do to get uh, to provide the infrastructure which um, did not emerge naturally, uh, and uh, the infrastructure for the new types of the business uh, uh, businesses is in, in uh, well, is the view is the their views and their images of values uh, and the life. Uh, the Russian society values are. Uh, quite conservative, profoundly conservative, and some of them uh, are quite dangerous for any innovative attempts. Uh, just a very simple example of that. It's impossible uh, to do any innovation without such basic things as uh, to risk tolerance and risk appetite uh, and right for mistakes and errors, uh, uh, readiness uh, to uh, accept risk. And this is exactly what Russian uh, mass media do not accept. And uh, uh, any news that the Institute of Development uh, stops um, uh, a project um, uh, leads to a publication of corruption uh, and embezzlement. So it just uh, um, uh, is absent in um, the components uh, the mass media uh, has in some uh, social formation. And I'm tr I will try to show it. It's not just a consequence of conservatism of journalists. Very interesting uh, analogy here. Because if we describe briefly what uh, transition from um, industrial to post-industrial is um, the uh, withdrawal from hierarchical to uh, industrial. In hierarchical, it's clear. It's broadcasting of um, um, sense, and there's a message, and there are so, uh, sources of values. Uh, the others uh, do share or don't, uh, and they either resist or take uh, them on board. In network um, society, there's nothing. There are uh, people which are not even trading, but they are interacting on values. And there's a dialogue as a basic uh, communication function and not a broadcasting. And there's a letter, a letter as the main type of text and not a message. And what happens in media now um, after the network revolution, what happens there is uh, um, well, it's uh, they're getting uh, from uh, the dissemination of factors uh, to dissemination of judgments. Uh, they, uh, the judgments they uh, accumulate and collect from the society, and the. Then, uh, then the second important thing, it's the reputation banks function. Uh, some centers uh, accumulating uh, the opinions and reputations to share, to further share it. The way it operates uh, with uh, that um, Russian SME conservatism. Russian mass media conservatives. Well, the Development Institute um, closed a company. What does it mean? It's an old paradigm. It's um, appealing to the bosses that something's wrong. The message is uh, embezzlement, uh, theft, uh, corrected, adjusted. In a different system, it's the interest to the essence of the problem. Why did it happen? How? And it's appealing to the people um, to uh, accumulate and um, learn with the experience uh, to extract lessons. The archaic of uh, formation and archaic mentality uh, led to uh, just the old, obsolete, uh, um, uh, well, uh, unfortunately, 
uh, our law enforcement system uses the same formats and measures. And our innovation has one enemy, which is uh, called Russian accountant. And you have uh, to push him with your um, legs uh, for him to allow you not only to uh, spend money for your research, but even uh, put uh, the uh, R&D into the budget or plan, because uh, there's the VAT problem there. Well, indeed, there are a lot of infrastructures, and our society is so obsolete uh, in many of its institutions that we have, have to resist things. But uh, it seems to me that, um, uh, as in many other things, uh, mass media, um, and media, well, to be uh, precise, and cultural environment is uh, the most flexible of all, most, uh, the fastest infrastructure. Um, maybe not a very correct and precise example, mm, but still, technological explosion that happened in Russia at the beginning of the 20th century when uh, a lot of global innovations uh, had been born, uh, maybe not uh, even implemented or monetized. Still, it had uh, preceded by the cultural explosion uh, decades uh, before um, big journals and thick journals and uh, the culture of dialogues, uh, intercultural, and uh, the view uh, to the world. Uh, well, it, it had preceded. And when they set up the Moscow Engineering School, one of the components uh, was uh, to teach how to be the god, and then secondly, to be an engineer. This is exactly the function the mass media could perform. And in this respect, this they are tailor-made for that. 